beautiful grass just beyond. But what if you're a very young child? On a day like today, not knowing the difference could be hazardous to your health. There are reports that a child suffered burns here at Brandon's Village Playground during the first part of this week's heat wave. Her mother says she was standing barefoot on what looked like the real grass that is everywhere here, but it turns out she was on fake turf. Have you ever seen grass that's so good it, it almost looks real? I have, and I sometimes try to stay away from that. Park visitor Alondra Rojas told us she avoids artificial grass because the chemicals tend to irritate her skin. But the heat? I actually never thought about it. it Dr. Michael Lewis has worked in both urgent and emergency care on days like today. He told us what concerns him the most about artificial turf. It will absorb the temperature and become very hot and some 50 to 70, 70 degrees higher than the ambient temperature. 50 to 75 degrees. So on a 100 degree day, that means this surface may be more than 150 degrees to the touch. It may look real, but it sure doesn't feel that way in a heat wave, and a child may not know the difference until it's too late. 14. We conducted a little unscientific experiment, measuring only the temperature above the real grass here, and then the temperature above the artificial turf just a few yards away. There it is, 130. The ambient temperature alone measured almost 15 degrees hotter on the fake grass. As a point of comparison, Dr. Lewis showed us what just 116 degrees could do to a raw egg on this metal sheet. It started cooking within minutes. Do you ever uh, think about it when you're, you know, I don't know, having a picnic or whatever? Honestly, not at all. So that's why I think this is really important. Dr. Lewis recommends parents just be on the lookout for turf like this or try it out before your kid can hit the playground. Another option is just to stay indoors.